Japan has started releasing treated wastewater from the stricken Fukushima nuclear plant. More than 1.3 million tons of water will gradually be discharged into the sea over the next 20 to 30 years. The release point is just off the coast of Fukushima Prefecture in northeastern Japan. The water in question was previously used to cool three nuclear reactors, which were wrecked by a devastating earthquake and tsunami in 2011. The radioactive water stored in about 1,000 massive storage tanks is being filtered and diluted before it's sent through a one-kilometer underwater tunnel that opens into the ocean. Authorities say the water will still contain tritium, a radioactive isotope of hydrogen that cannot be filtered out. Japan worked with nuclear regulators, including the United Nations International Atomic Energy Agency, to ensure what's released still meets international safety standards. But the move has been condemned at home and abroad. I think there's been a tremendous amount of misunderstanding of, of this issue around the Fukushima wastewater release. This is something that goes on routinely at nuclear power stations and nuclear reprocessing sites around the world. And we haven't, over decades, we haven't seen significant impacts on people or the environment. I think the science has been misunderstood. The assurances, though, have failed to quell opposition forcing officials to delay the start of the release for two years. Ahead of the decision, Kishida visited the Daiichi nuclear plant where water is being prepared for release. He also met fishing groups, telling them the government will bear full responsibility for what happens when this water starts flowing. But many remained unconvinced. やっぱり福島っていうブランドっていうか地域ブランドだけでもすごく当時から嫌がられる傾向にすごくあったのでナンバープレートだってそうですしあの避難しなきゃいけない県外に行くとかそういうことでもすごくなんだろう傷つく思
Kong's government has ordered an import ban on aquatic products from 10 Japanese prefectures, including Fukushima and Tokyo, starting on August 24. So, why is Japan going ahead with the water release? It's because the Fukushima plant is running out of space to store the water. Giant tanks storing the treated liquid reached 97% capacity in May 2023. And that, according to experts, poses an even bigger threat in the event of another natural disaster or human error.